This is one of my favorite appetizers to serve at home. It's roasted broccolini with a walnut romesco, burrata, and roasted cherry tomatoes. Hi, my name is Chris Crary, and we're going to prepare a dish today that looks like and tastes like it took all day to make, but really it only takes a couple minutes. We're going to start by roasting these luscious peppers. I like to do mine over an open flame. What we're looking for is for the skin to get charred and really black on the outside. See how it's starting to change colors already and blistering a little bit? That's good. But we need it to do that all the way around and turn almost black. If you don't have an open flame or you don't have a gas stove, you can do it on your grill outside. You can do it in the oven at a really high temperature, in a charboiler, whatever you have. This gives it a smoky flavor, roasting it over an open flame. It also kind of helps break down the pepper a little bit so it's soft and creamy and it really has that velvety texture, what we're looking for in the romesco. This is perfect. We're gonna put it inside this bowl where we have our plastic wrap ready to go. Now we're just gonna cover it and let it sit for five minutes like this. I'm just gonna put that off to the side. We have our beautiful broccolini here from the market. Now you wanna take the bottom of it off. If you can't find broccolini, you could use broccoli, you can use kale, you can use lettuce even. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil here. We're gonna add some salt and pepper. This is really simple, but it's got a lot of flavor. Toss this up, make sure it gets nice and coated. Put it on a sheet tray. It's gonna go right in the oven for about five minutes at 400 degrees. All right, now that our pepper has been hanging out for a little bit, watch how easy the skin is gonna come off. Take a paper towel, the pepper while it's still kind of warm, and you're just gonna peel the skin off. See how easy that comes off? Now you have all the skin gone and just this nice velvety red pepper left. Just gonna pop off the top, pull out all the seeds, and you're done. Now to finish up the romesco, we're gonna add our blistered cherry tomatoes, which we put in the oven at 450 degrees for about five minutes. We're gonna add a few of those in. So next we're gonna add our toasted walnuts. Put them on a sheet tray for eight to 10 minutes at 350 degrees. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of toasted walnuts into the romesco. Along with that, I'll be adding some roasted garlic, olive oil, sherry vinegar. You can use red wine vinegar, but I prefer sherry vinegar. It really brings out the roastedness of the peppers and the garlic the meatiness of the walnuts, the, uh, the acidity from the peppers. I'm just gonna process this a little bit. You really wanna have the texture of the walnuts still prevalent. So this looks a little thin to me. What you can do is just add some more walnuts to it to thicken it up. All right, this is a much better consistency now. You see how it's nice and thick and stands up off the spoon? Perfect. You can still see the, the chunkiness of the nuts in there. That's great. Now we're ready to put it all together. We have our burrata cheese here, which is a very special cheese. It's a really delicate cheese that has this nice creamy center to it. The romesco sauce goes so well with cheese. We're going to add a few dollops of the romesco sauce. We're going to add our toasted walnuts. I just like to crush them up in my hand. This just also brings another textural element to the dish and really has that meaty quality to a nice vegetarian dish. We have some of our beautifully blistered roasted cherry tomatoes here. So you can make this either as an appetizer portion or, you know, if you have a larger family, you can make it family style on a large platter. This is a delicious summer dish, but you can enjoy it any time of year. Romesco is a great sauce that you can put on a sandwich. You can have it with fish, with steak. It keeps well in your fridge. Enjoy.